<clears throat> All right, here we go. Scorpio, hi, that's you. This is Tar Illumination, and this is like a micro playlist mini reports for the Aquarius New Moon Eclipse, February 15th, 2018, which is going to have a significant trajectory for the next few weeks, few months even. And also, this is kind of a precursor. We're in the middle of the eclipse cycles for the Leo Aquarius pattern. Uh, so we've already had the first batch uh, about a year ago this time. So if you can think of what was happening to you in your life about a year ago, and maybe this is like an echo of back then. And also in six months from now, we're going to have another round of the eclipses of the Leo Aquarius axis. So just heads up, okay, Scorpios? You're doing a great job. And we're just going to use uh, the same little mini spread we use on the live show. No jumpers, no flyers, no oracles, no reversals, sorry. Just try to keep it as simple as I can for you guys. And you can reinterpret however you want. Okay? So for you, Aquarius, this new moon eclipse is happening down there in your fourth house. Foundations, family, where you sleep, your security, your sense of home, where you come to rest where you cherish and nurture yourself, where you nurture your loved ones, where you where your loved ones nurture you. It's a very important part of the chart, often ignored in that way, but it's very, very important. So you might feel as though a lot of big shifts are happening to you in the foundations of your life, perhaps home, remodeling home, new changes, leaving, a new, leaving an old home, entering a new home, uh, moving. It could be anything like that. Um, we'll see. You know, with the eclipses up there in the other house, the 10th house, it could be to do with career. Are you running a, a starting a career from home or something like that? Anyway, we'll see what, what, what the story is. Okay. Cards were well shuffled, like I said, and you're a witness now to the final shuffle. There we go. Now we're going to cut it up and then do your spread. Okay. Let's just take it for granted that our angels are present, okay? Yours and Terra Illumination. All right, here's the situation. Here's the challenge. Here's how we're going to handle it. And we're going to make the best of the circumstantial energy. Of course, this is around you. And it's just there, not necessarily yours, but it's still part of your existence, your experience of life. You're going to make the best of it like you would, like anyone would, Scorpio, okay? So you have the King of Swords here. So it might be an indication that right now, is it time to uh, recognize uh, your own power in the situation uh, and realize that it's very, very important to stick to your own truth here, subjective truth, uh, and hope that, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of saying it, just hoping that your own subjective truth is in close alignment with universal truth so that you live and walk and talk the truth to the point where it's living by example. It's very, very important now to uh, let your actions speak louder than your words. In other words, um, haha, that was kind of a joke, wasn't it? In other words, haha. Anyway, never mind. Sorry about that. So it's important now to, um, circumstantially, it's very, very important. Like if you need help, if you need advice, get that. If others are going to be coming to you for uh, understanding uh, and advice, then that would make sense too. Maybe it's about time to, let's say, live up to this kind of energy that's surrounding you like if others see you as this uh, king of swords like someone who's very trustworthy and honorable and respectable and very impartial and can be trusted to very high levels that's very very good it's time for you to accept that and understand that and bring that into your foundations of life going forward from here um, perhaps you weren't aware of your own awesomeness until now in that regard uh, let's see. Let's have a look. What's the situation? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> New beginnings for sure. So you might really be fired up about this, even though it could be in some ways very destabilizing and unsettling for you, like that energy of, you know, uh, shifting, uh, shifting sands where the whole, if you're, if the foundations of your life are getting really, really shaken up. Maybe not in a very obvious way, but at the very, very deep foundational levels where you can feel that happening. It feels to me here like this is actually turning you on. It's just like, I've been waiting for this. This is an amazing life opportunity for me, and I'm going to grab it. So that's kind of cool for you, Scorpio. It could have been quite quite intimidating. You know, the, the fourth house is in a hard angle to you. It's on the angle, so you're really going to feel it. 
And the Aquarius energy, by definition, can be uh, in some ways challenging for Scorpios. But on the other hand, if this is the kind of energy that's flowing with you right now, where you are literally rising to the challenge, maintaining your dignity, and like the circumstances are actually encouraging you to rise up and change and shift and like go with the flow, get on this new wave, leave the obsolete behind, whatever that, however that is defined in your life, in your world, and the foundations of your world, and having this new beginning, just literally going for it. Uh, bidding farewell to the old, saying hello to the new, grabbing it with everything you've got, embracing it, and uh, seeing it as like almost like an epic new journey. Chances for new beginnings where you can really like come into your own and live up to your own visions, your own mission, so to speak. Let's say, what's the challenge here? Okay. <laughs> uh, it's like, it's, it's almost like separating yourself from... Uh, your current circumstances, the actual act. <laughs> in other words, it's great to talk about this stuff in theory, hypothetically, and how wonderful it is to transform and grow and evolve. That's the Scorpio thing. Yay. And let's say becoming, uh, you know, rising to your full stature, having the chance to do this in a new environment. It's the question is the, the fear of separating from, you know, like my feelings, like your existing ways of being where you can be like really clashing with yourself because you you know what happens oftentimes in times of tremendous decision making and challenges of having to decide to, to let go of the old and to accept the new what can happen is that um, all the wonderful stuff of your current existence becomes very starkly apparent to you and you start realizing oh my gosh I'm going to have to divorce myself and separate myself from that and no longer uh, put up with the things that are intolerable that I've put up with for so long. And then this is saying, yes, that's actually very intimidating. You know, even for a Scorpio, who, who your transformation is your middle name, constantly uh, being birthed and then dying and then renewing and come back to life again, uh, stronger than before. However, it might be feeling like you're being taxed to your limits right now, like this, as, as good as an opportunity as this might be for you to change and shift and totally rebuild your foundations. In terms of, let's say you're just, you know, you're like behind closed doors, it's almost like quaking in your boots, like wondering whether you can handle the change and the shift. Have you got the strength and the courage? So let's have a look. How are we going to deal with this? Basically, my feeling is allow yourself to feel, let's say, completely discombobulated as this unfolds. Treat it as though you're living in a movie and you're allowing the movie to unfold. You don't have to know the end game. You don't have to know. Uh, there's no point in trying to uh, flip ahead to the, you know, uh, spoilers, spoiler alerts. To find out how does this story actually end there's no point in doing that the only way to handle this is literally let's say declare that this is what is that this is how it has to be and allow this new beginning to happen for you and allow yourself to live through the the separation from the past and to enter the new and maintain your dignity through all of this. And even though it might be very disorienting for you, it could be very destabilizing. The actual physical process of transformation is as inspiring, as exciting as it might be, like in your spirit, your imagination, your thoughts, it could be uh, f feeling almost like, uh, like one of those disaster movies, you know, like, whoa, what's happening? How do you get through to the other side? But you do it. You prevail by allowing yourself to think of it as a movie where you know you're the hero and you are going to prevail in the end. It just might be a little wobbly as you get as you live through it. OK, so that's what I'm feeling here for you, Scorpio. OK, you can reinterpret this however you want. OK, it's your reading. All the best.